this video is going over how to identify asymptotes of a function. Okay, so I've got the function 6x squared minus 12x plus 5 over x cubed plus 5x minus 6 and then plus 3. Okay, so listen to that. I'll use brackets. 6x squared minus 12x plus 5 outside the brackets divided by bracket x cubed to the power of 3 out of the power uh, plus 5x minus 6 outside the brackets then plus 3. Enter. Okay, so here's a very interesting function. I'm just going to move the label up here. Okay, it's making some very interesting things. So once again, um, as explained in a previous section, you can find the minimum point there using menu analyze graph and then minimum. Now we can find the y-intercept here, we can find the x-intercept here which is at 1 and the y-intercept we could just use the trace function. So if I go menu, trace, graph trace, it actually started at the y-intercept, so 0, 2.17, so the y-intercept is y equals 2.17. Now to find the um, asymptotes of the function, we can go find a table of values. So press menu, table, and split screen table. And here we can see in the first column is the x values, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we've got the y values in the second column. Now by scrolling up and down, we can see the y values for negative numbers, negative values of x, and positive values of x. Here we can see we are undefined at x equals 1. So what does that mean? That means there must be a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. Okay, so if we go back to the graph, so I'll just click this on the edge, a little bit blue, and press delete. Okay, so what's happening at x equals 1? If we look at our actual function, why would it be undefined at x equals 1? Well, look at the denominator. What if we substitute 1 into there? You get 1 plus 5 times 1, which is 5, so 1 plus 5 is 6, minus 6 is 0. Ah, my function is undefined at 1 because the denominator is 0. So therefore there is in fact a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. So to find asymptotes, you can either trace it or better yet, use a table of values. Again, if we wanted to find the horizontal asymptote that way, we can go menu, table, now, let's have a look what happens as x approaches infinity. So remember, this is the x values here, and these are the fx values, or y values. So if I go down, what's happening? I'm getting closer and closer to 3. And then if I go up, back to, um, so towards negative infinity, where x equals negative infinity. So I'm finally in the negative numbers now. What's happening? 2.8, 2.9. And I've got a feeling each of these digits are going to turn into 9, 9, 9, 9, slowly like that. So 2.97 and so forth. So as we can see, we're again approaching 3 in the negative direction. So the table of values is probably the best way to work out where the asymptotes are. It tells you where the function is undefined. And by scrolling up and down, you can find what the function is approaching as x approaches negative infinity and as x approaches positive infinity. In both ways, they were 3. And the vertical asymptote was x equals 1.